That's we right. welcome in our NFL analyst, Eric Allen. How are you? I'm great. Um, would you blame the loss on play calling? No, not at all. Uh, they, they face Andy Reid, basically the, uh, the best coach against the Cowboys in the history of the league. He, that's all he does is beat the Cowboys. So again, what you focus on, really, you saw in the first drive, they attacked Lane Kiffin, or excuse me, Monty Kiffin, mm -hmm. and the read option. I mean, this is Alex Smith. He used to do this at Utah. So again, they attacked the Dallas Cowboys, first with Andy Reid and great opportunity to be efficient on offense, and then defensively, they really attacked Monty Kiffin and how he performed against all those college squads yep. at USC. They knew that was a weakness, so they attacked him there. So again, this is a this, uh, uh, deal where the Chiefs, with all those pro bowlers on the football team, did an outstanding job of just outplaying the Dallas Cowboys. I mean, what do you make of him making uh, making something out of the play calling now that he's not doing it anymore. Well, well again, you know, when you talk about the Dallas Cowboys, you have to have a, gr a group of players that have not been able to really play to their ability. And that's been the case every single year that this Tony Romo group has been together. Yep. I think the play calling was more about facing the Kansas City's defense than actually bad play calling. The defense on the Chiefs does an outstanding job. Brandon Flowers makes big plays. Poe destroys at the line of scrimmage. So again, it wasn't about the play calling. It was about who they face. The Kansas City Chiefs on both sides of the ball dictate a tempo. All right, Stephen A, he says it's not about the play calling. Your thoughts? Well, I respectfully disagree because I think I, it's not, it's not that I disagree with what he's saying. Eric, it's this. It's about the play calling because Jason Garrett brought it up. And what I mean by that is it highlights what is always the problem with the Dallas Cowboys. There's always something more to their issues than just the game. And that's what this comes down to. So you're right in saying that the outcome of yesterday's game wasn't about the play calling. It's about a coach and Andy Reid on the other side of the field who knows what it takes to beat the Cowboys, who's incredibly accustomed to beating the Cowboys and exercising whatever you want to call it, his genius when it comes to going up against them and using it efficiently and effectively. But more importantly than this, Jason Garrett knows he's been calling plays. He also knows that that, uh, that that obligation and responsibility has been confiscated from him by Jerry Jones in the offseason and given to Callahan. So all of a sudden you come out there and you say that, it's not an accident. It's not a coincidence. There's a reason why you mention that. Because if you're Jason Garrett, you want to be the one calling those plays. You're trying to intimate or at least imply that if you had been the one calling the plays, perhaps the result may have been different. He's conveniently forgetting two consecutive eight and eight seasons that left the Dallas Cowboys on the outside looking in at the postseason. And he brings this up because, again, it's about him. It's not about everything else. And as a result of that, this is why you have a problem. You've got an owner in Jerry Jones, who I believe is a genius as a businessman. But when it comes to actual football, it's about him not about what's best. And now you've got a head coach. It's about him, not about what's best. And the fact that those things got articulated and elocuted to the masses is all you need to know, that there's always a problem with the Cowboys. You got Des Bryant, 141 receiving yards, looking like a flat-out stud, having his efforts wasted. Why? Because of drama. But that's Big D. That's what it's all about. Let me bring it back to Eric here. All right. Do you, do you think in your years in the NFL that you saw anything quite like the uneasy alliance that is now Bill Callahan and Jason Garrett where the head coach had the play calling stripped from him and given to the offensive line coach who has called plays before as a head coach as you know for the Raiders. Yep. So is there trouble in Jerryville? Is that like a, a sort of a bad fit? Skip, I, you guys have great experience in the National Football League and I, there's always trouble since the, the absence of Super Bowls yep. down in Dallas. And if it's not the play calling, it's the personnel. It's the owner getting too involved with the team. So again, when you look at the total uh, of the Dallas Cowboys, we can't take Bill Callahan, who I have a lot of experience in, have a lot of respect for, didn't do a very good job in, in, in uh, Nebraska. Nebraska yeah. And with the Raiders, his stint was very short and it didn't really, it, it was yeah, it wasn't, well it wasn't original uh, because he kind of followed John Gruden's mm -hmm. uh, uh, style of play calling. But the Dallas Cowboys, when you talk about, we've always talked about a team that is mm -hmm. ultra talented, but somehow can't kind of connect all those things. Okay. And for me, when looking at the game, I just think they faced a more talented football team. And how many times can we say that? Yeah. And then a team that was coached better. 
It wasn't about the play calling that day, because earlier the play calling was great with Dez oh, Bryant, which he, which he alluded to earlier. Okay, back to the question. Did they not run the ball well enough? No, they did not. DeMarco Murray has had some big days in this league. He had 25 yards on 12 carries. Now, I watched every bit of this game, and I got to tell you, I don't think Kansas City is more talented than Dallas is. Kansas City is a legit playoff team, and that stadium might not be Seattle, but mm -hmm. it is oh, yeah. crazy in there, yeah, oh, yeah. When, especially when they have something to scream for. That's right. And they were screaming against those hated Dallas Cowboys mm -hmm. against their team with Andy Reid as the head coach. 